Hey now. Nah. <clears throat> well, fuck that up. What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. K K N Comics here. Um, back with another. I guess. I guess a haul. Uh, show you a couple things. A um, couple of the books I have. Want to. Uh, Real quick, just a brief history about me. I've been collecting comics for probably about 12 years now. Have a bunch. Too many to name. Um, you know, Marvel Marvel forward, I guess. You know, love DC too, but have always collected more Marvel stuff. Um, and recently have started collecting and, and reading a lot of the newer stuff. And I hadn't done that in a while, um, but have had a good time doing so recently. Um, but real quick, shout out to Hero Hunter 81 uh, Thanks for the share for my first video. Uh, it increased the likes, uh, excuse me, increased the views by like uh, quadruple. <laughs> so thank you for that. And uh, I will, uh, your videos are the best, man. And thanks for, uh, thanks for showing me that uh, people out there love the same shit that I do. So cool. Uh, but real quick, want to show you first thing I got this week that I like. Um, big Mark Miller fan. And that is Super Crooks. Issue number one, Mark Miller and Lay Nil Yu. And uh, have really enjoyed this book uh, from Miller World and Icon uh, Entertainment. Pretty fun. Artwork is fantastic. Uh, of course, Mark Miller, the um, creator of... Uh, well, that would be Kick-Ass, right? Yes, he was Kick-Ass creator. Uh, I think he did Wanted. Um... And what else did he do? Uh, Hit Girl. I think Hit Girl was his. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, love him. It was a cool book. Fun read. Really enjoyed number one. So, of course, you got to get number two. You know, great, you know, very provocative. Uh, pretty cool. That's a great cover. Great cover. And number three right there great great cover I mean just very fine artwork great story by Mark Miller rumor has it um, super crooks will be <clears throat> excuse me developed into a movie uh, it is in pre-production which probably means they're trying to piece together a cast and crew I don't even know if it has a director but rumors super crooks movie you know usually raises the value yeah well okay this is, uh, next few are from, uh, my local comic shop, uh, owner, who's a good buddy of mine, came, uh, got a couple new long boxes from a collection that he had purchased. Let me look through it first. Uh, all of these were purchased for a dollar, and you'll see why I will never pass these up. Um, a couple of these I have a few copies of, but, uh, for a dollar, all day, every day. First one, Luna Brothers. Girls, love this. That is the variant copy, not a newsstand copy, but uh, a variant to the to the original cover. Um, Girls is a I think it came started in like 2005. Um, Girls is a it's not the same it's not the same as the show that's on what is it HBO or Showtime. This is by the Luna Brothers, um, Jonathan and Joshua Luna, inkers, pencilers, all that shit on there, and. Uh, it's about, from what I remember, it's about like a group of women who are like cut off by the rest of the world and are attacked by like naked women and stuff. I don't know, it's crazy. But variant cover, um, pretty cool. Dollar, all day. Same thing. Spider Girl. This one right here, 50 cents. Marvel Comics number two. Spider Girl. Issue number one from October 1998. New stand copy. First edition. Uh, obviously, in Mercenauts video, he showed what a first edition was and it is two zeros with uh, 111 as a suffix that is first appearance now this one not first appearance of spider girl you know first issue 50 cents uh, this issue right here for a dollar um, he knows I stole it from him but you know it's not crazy valuable but it is valuable to me because I am a huge huge Huntress fan but for a dollar Huntress the Huntress number one from DC Comics in okay shape good very good shape for a dollar that's like my third or fourth copy of that all day cannot pass that up for a buck and if I can't pass up number one I sure as hell can't pass up number two for a dollar the Huntress love it not a huge fan of the Huntress in the new 52 but <clears throat> uh, really love uh, her original run I think this was 89 uh, yep 89 and to keep it rolling, this one also was 50 cents. 
Uh, I know a lot of people aren't. I am a fan of uh, Revolutionary Comics Rock and Roll set, their series. And this is number four, uh, Queen. Got this pretty much because the cover's really badass. Um, Freddie Mercury is a legend. Queen is a legend. I mean, Bohemian Rhapsody. If you if you don't like that song, I don't know if we could be friends. Like, let's be honest. Um, there's a couple other ones of these that I like. There's a Nirvana cover. There's actually a Vanilla Ice cover that um, I saw in my shop. Didn't pick it up. And then, um, I've come to find out, it's, you know, pretty, it's a little desirable. And that also happened to me. Marvel Premiere, number, number two or five, I could have gotten really cheap this past week. And I... I didn't pull the trigger. Lesson, if you see a comic you like, pick it up. Pick it up. Um, and then to continue, I uh, was watching a couple of the Hall videos, and I think it was Mercenaut or Omega Shin Ryu Kin who uh, said that this book, New Guardians number two, which I've had for a while, um, is popular. Um, and I did check it out. It is going for... 18. I saw one as low as 18, as high as like 37 on eBay, which, hey, that's cool. Um, but if you've seen their videos, and I'm sure you have, New Guardians number two is the first appearance of a character or a villain named Snowflame, and he is a cocaine-fueled and cocaine-driven uh, supervillain. And his first appearance, full, full appearance, should be on the very first panel of... The first page. And there he is. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not doing a great job. But he's in a red Speedo suit with white hair. And he just, you know, he looks like he just scar-faced an entire <clears throat> table worth of that stuff. But, hey, cool issue. I've had it for a while. Like it. Yeah. You know, pretty cool. And then to kind of wrap up and round down um, one of my favorite books. And I will show, I have a lot of valuable books. And I'll try to show one each week. And I won't do a bunch because I kind of want to save the expense. I mean, I don't have a ton. But I have enough to where I'd like to, you know, hold off so you guys would like continue to watch. And here's the first one. <clears throat> I'll show you guys. Yep. Yep. And that's what it is. That is a, uh, a genuine, bona fide, giant size X-Men number one. Just, uh, you know, run of the mill. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, obviously, do I have... This is your very rare four-banger first appearance. Storm, Colossus, Nighthawk, and probably the best. It's Nightcrawler. Second appearance, Wolverine. Just, you know, it's a legendary comic. Now, some... Oops, I'm sorry. Some people have said that they... Uh, some people feel... That Uncanny X-Men 94 is more valuable. It is not. I don't care. Uh, technically, this wasn't a part of the Uncanny run because it is a giant size issue. However, this is, in comics, it does not matter. The first full appearances of, this, of these characters is giant size X-Men number one. As an X-Men fan and collector, to me, that is more desirable and valuable. Perhaps I'm a little biased because I do not currently own a... Uncanny X-Men number 84, excuse me, uh, number 94, but um, that's not because I don't want it or that's not because I'm not going to get it. It's just because I desired this one uh, much more than the 94, at least initially. So um, that's going to do it for today. Um, and uh, actually, one last thing. Uh, I just recently got the iPad mini. And I just want to apologize to myself <clears throat> for not for not getting it sooner. Um, if you're a comic fan, uh, to be able to download comics right there, to especially from Image, you know, I've been really on Image Comics recently. Um, it's it's so amazing, so amazing. So uh, that's me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, leave me a comment. Let's. I'd like to interact with all you guys and talk about. Uh, you know, talk about comics together and, and, and collaborate, and it's awesome. I really enjoy uh, being part of the community. Uh, thanks to everyone who likes and shares my stuff, and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Scissor Gang, peace.